More than 3,000 people are on the waiting list for a heart transplant on any given day. Only 2,200 donor hearts are available every year, though, for a few critically ill heart patients. The total artificial heart is their best chance for survival. Leslie Mouton has details in today's Health Beat. 52-year-old Brian Tayo listens to his donor heart and smiles. Less than a year ago, he had a massive heart attack while exercising. His heart was beyond repair, but he was a good candidate for a total artificial heart, a procedure used fewer than 50 times a year as a bridge to a heart transplant. Not only bought me the time, probably saved my life. That technology did. They didn't have another option other than take out his heart, put in an artificial heart, and then, you know, as soon as he got strong enough, do a donor. So definitely a breakthrough. You're essentially removing both pumping chambers of the heart, the right ventricle and the left ventricle, and replacing it with this machine that's attached to the remaining top chambers of the heart. Brian waited six weeks for a donor heart, carrying his artificial heart around in a battery-powered backpack. The waiting was the hardest part, and, and the reason for that is in order for me to get a heart, someone else was going to lose their life, and that was hard. After those six weeks, he finally got the call. A donor heart was available. The transplant operation was a success. How do you qualify the significance of a life? For him, it was everything. For his wife, it was everything. Uh, for our team, it was everything. It's the gift of life, um, organ donation is. Leslie Mouton, KSAT 12 News.